Coalfield Hotel, Part 2. Coalfield Hotel stands in its own class of paranormal hauntings. Previous owners have tried to remodel the hotel only to fail and construction to be halted. Could it be that the ghost that resides inside this hotel be the reason why the construction has been abandoned every time? What is it that makes this town so active with paranormal activity? Psychics from all over the world claim that the Goldfield Hotel's basement sits on a gateway in portal to the underworld where spirits are free to come and go as they please. Ever since our first visit to this hotel, my mind has not wandered far away from it, and I'm beginning to feel as if the spirits of the hotel are luring me to go back. Our second tour of the hotel turned out to be just as eventful as our first one, and I believe that the spirit of Elizabeth joined us this time around and showed us her presence. This is our footage. Watch and listen closely, and be the judge to what we captured inside this infamous hotel. And so that's where she was chained, right there. Almost there's a, there's a memorial for her. Wow. And Before we were allowed to roam the halls, the owner himself took us of a quick tour of room 109. Pay attention as the orb comes around and circles a young lady. Notice her immediate reaction to it. Could this have been the spirit of Elizabeth letting us know that she is here with us? Oh, that's you a do? window up there. Definitely. This is creepy. <laughs> take, just no, take the window. Oh, that's you a do? window up there. Definitely. This is creepy. <laughs> take, just no, take no, the window. Some people just can't take it in here. Yeah. Oh, really? No, uh, they... They cannot go in here? Place, yeah. Alright guys, so I'm actually headed to room 109, I'm by myself right now, and I can tell you it already feels really, really weird, like I'm not kidding, like it feels really cold in here, like I'm getting chills down my spine, how do you feel in here, it feels weird right? It's freezing in here, it's, right, it's colder in here isn't it? It's shaking so Yeah, bad. yeah I know, it's like super weird. And the room, room 109 is actually right here. And that's the shrine that they did for Elizabeth. Now, the legend, ooh, I'm getting major chills in here. The legend that, or the story goes that she was tied to that furnace right there. And when she had a baby, her baby was thrown down the mine shaft. Now people have brought little shrine and little gifts for her that they made for her. And according to the owner, what he's been telling us is that these dolls have actually moved on their own. They were not left that way. And they've been... What was the shriek? I think that's red. Sorry, guys. Red's actually... Cleaning up. Sorry, guys. My phone, my phone just turned off. Look at... It won't turn on. She just had a full battery taking a couple pictures. And the battery just drained and her phone is completely dead now. Yeah, that is crazy. Cool. We stayed inside Elizabeth's room for about another 15 minutes without any activity happening. But watch what happens when we come around the corner and try to go up the stairs to continue to explore the hotel. Listen and watch closely. Alright guys, so we've been here for a little while and uh, already we've we've had Emily's phone die. And then she just said, you're feeling, you're feeling what? I have a strong pressure against my head. Yeah. Are you still feeling cold or are you feeling okay? I'm feeling hot. Yeah, it's getting hot now. I'm gonna go walk a little bit, okay? I wonder where she was chained, like hot there. I don't know. Are you okay here? I'm gonna go walk for a little bit over here. Oh, Alright, come on. <laughs> Alright. Alright guys, so we're gonna take a quick walk just around the corner here to see uh to check out the other rooms. These seem to be untouched for them. What? I can't go. You can't, what do you mean? I can't, like, I, I can't go. You can't, are you serious? 
Here, let me help you. I can't go. You kidding me? No, I can't. Lift your leg. I'm trying, I can't. Holy crap, guys, this is not even faking. I'm like pulling her. I'm trying to pull her this way and she won't go. Like she can't. She's like, she. It's like my feet are like. It feels like the there's an energy pulling you behind or pulling you back. That is super weird. Can you go back that way? Try coming up again? I can't, like my foot is planted to the ground. Damn, that is freaking crazy. Do you feel anything holding you or anything? No. I guess like I can't, I can't, I can't go up. Was something there trying to pull Emily back or prevent her from going into the back rooms? Was Emily doing this on purpose? You be the judge. But I was there, and I can tell you with certainty that I was trying to pull her in my direction with all the strength I had. Watch it one more time as it played out. Try coming up again? I can't, like my foot is planted to the ground. Damn, that is freaking crazy. Do you feel anything holding you or anything? No. I just like I can't I can't I can't go up. Alright guys, so this is the basement where Elizabeth's baby was thrown and died. I don't know if you can appreciate how high this is. I'm gonna try to pan the camera up to the elevator. It's way up there. All the way in the top. And this right here is the old elevator engine right here. It's still original. We're gonna go around the corner and I'm gonna try to show it to you. There's light down here now because uh, they're remodeling this place so there is some light, but there are areas that have no light, which we're going to go into in a second. But I just wanted to show you the old engine that would work the elevator. Right here. So, what happened? Alright guys, so we're going to go into the darkest part of the basement, which is this way. Look at this. There's a big room right here, huge room. It's just open. There are lights, but they're not on. The only lights that we have are the lights on our camera, because we didn't bring. Uh, we don't have a night vision camera with us right now. Backwards. Oh, that's peculiar. The chair is backwards, like somebody is sitting facing the corner. How creepy is that? Wow, this is really cool guys down here. I'm not, I don't know exactly what these rooms are going to be, but it looks awesome already. This big old room. That door leads to the outside, but it's pretty well secured. This is the original Goldfield Hotel sign right there. See, so you guys can see that I am actually inside the Goldfield Hotel and I am in the basement. We continued to walk through the corridors of the hotel without much more happening around us. I consider myself to be one of the lucky few who have actually entered this hotel and experienced this paranormal activity from day one. The ghosts who reside in this place are there and are not afraid to show themselves. This hotel will always remain in the back of my mind and it will be an experience I will never forget.